In this video, we are going to walk through ways on how you can improve the visual of your graphs. We know a lot of times you'd want to make an impressive a chart that would leave your audience wild. If you're looking for such kind of um, visual appearance or visual design, then you've come to watch the right video. So I would say welcome to the world of pros that you have to work with graphics in terms of Microsoft Excel. So in this tutorial, we are going to walk through steps on how you can be able to make a good chart that will leave you on another level of your presentation skills. So the first thing to do is that you need to select uh, the data that you yeah, you'd want to work with. So in this case, we're going to work with this first part here, and then we're going to insert a graph. As usual, we'd want to work with a line at first. So once we've done this, it means that now we can be able to move on to our next um, area, which is that uh, we need to select um, uh, the data that we'd want to work with. So in this case, we click edit here and we'd want these percentages to be here. And then once we've done that, we click OK. Now our chart is ready with all the contents filled in and it's ready to be formatted. So how do we make it to be formatted in a good way? So let's enter some data here. So we're going to enter 25 here, 25 here, and 25 here. And then we're going to enter 25 here. And then we make sure we enter 25 here, 25 here, and 25 here. So now, once we've done that, it means that we have plotted data that is going to fuse in onto the design of our graph in Microsoft Excel. So let's right click and make uh, this graph lively. So let's come here to change chart type here. And then make sure we come where it says combo. So under combo here, what we need to make sure is that doubling time should remain as a line graph, right? And then the OK column should remain as a clustered. And then we can choose uh, the bad to be a clustered and then the good to be clustered. Once we've done that, we click OK. It means that now our graphs, they are ready for the next big step, fusing them in to make sure that our graph looks good always. So now, next step is that we need to select uh, this type of um, of the values of the graphs within it. There are two methods that we can use. It's either that we can change the colors from here or we can change it by saying format data series. Either way, these methods, they work the way we would want them to work. But let us use uh, this first uh, method. So for the bed, I would want the color for the field here. If you come here, I would want it to be red. And then for the good, I would want it to be yellow so that there is a transition from bad to good. And then for the for, for the good, right, I would want it to be um, green. So once I've done that, it means that I have done the first part and then we are ready to transition on to the next part. So the next, next part that we're going to work with is under here where it says uh, series options. So we make sure that uh, we say the gap width here it should be zero and then the overlap should reach on to 100 percent here then even further a uh, full it up to that uh, stage so now once we've done this it means that we have got the graph that is well lined up everything transitioning from bad good and then okay as it is so i would like to say i uh, thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one. We will be able to make better graphs with any other skills that are imperative when it comes to Microsoft Excel. So bye for now. On behalf of Combinist um, crew, would like to say please subscribe so that we keep on making this kind of videos.